الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد um, إن شاء الله تعالى in this set which is the third set of our benefits فوائد إن شاء الله تعالى that today's faida is going to be about uh, matters pertaining to the suluk and adab manners that a student of knowledge uh, needs to have. Um, this fa'idah, inshallah ta'ala, is from the book Ibn Abdul Barr, rahimahullah, his kitab, Jami'u Bayani al-Ilmi wa Fadli, um, the first volume, uh, Dar ibn al-Jawzi, um, with the tahqiq of Abil Ashbal. Um, ibn Abdul Barr, who I said in the last set, he's Hafidh al-Maghrib. Um, and this book, Jami'u Bayani al-Ilmi wa Fadli, a student of knowledge should try to always read it and go over it and over it. It's a book full of fawaid and benefits. Ibn Abdul Barr, rahimahullah, he made a chaptering in the page 431. He made a fastl and he called it Faslun fil insafi fil ilmi. The chapter here is called um, Equity in Knowledge, to be fair to be just in knowledge. As soon as he gave it that heading, Ibn Abdul Bar said, Qala Abu Umar, min barakatil ilmi, from the blessings of knowledge is, wa adabihi and its manners is, al insafu fihi, to have equity, fairness, justice. And then he said, wa man lam yunsif, and the person who has no justice in knowledge, Lam yafham, he will not understand. Walam yatafaham, and he won't also have the ability to strive to understand. So the blessing in which a person can get through knowledge is what? If you want the barakah of ilm, the blessings of knowledge, and you want to come with it is its etiquette that is needed from you, then let's, let it be found in you, al insafu fil ilm, to be fair and just in knowledge. And the person he said, Ibn Abdul Bar, وَمَنْ لَمْ يُنْصِفْ A person who doesn't have insaf in knowledge, لَمْ يَفْهَمْ He won't be able to understand. وَلَمْ يَتَفَهَمْ And then straight away Ibn Abdul Bar, he brought, um, he said, وَقَالَ بَعْضُ الْعُلَمَاء Some of the scholars, they said, لَيْسَ مَعِي مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا أَنِّي أَعْلَمُ أَنِّي لَسْتُ أَعْلَمُ Some of the ulama said, it is not with me any knowledge. I mean, I don't have no knowledge. I don't possess any knowledge. Except I know that I know nothing. لَيْسَ مَعِي مِنَ الْعِلْمِ I have no knowledge except that I know that I know nothing. That's insaf. That is, الإنصاف في العلم is to be fair in the matters pertaining to knowledge, fairness. And then Ibn Abdul Barr, he brought the statement of Muhammad ibn Muhammad al-Warraq. He said, وَقَالَ Muhammad al-Warraq that Muhammad al-Warraq said, Atamu nasi the most completest person, is a'rafuhum bin naqsihi, the person who's very well aware of his own deficiency. The most complete person is the one who's well aware of his deficiency. Wa li shahwatihi, and the one who's most destroying of his own desires. He's the one who can destroy his desires the most. Wa hirsu, and the one who strives the most for himself who strives to his own benefits. So the person who is the most completest, uh, who has reached a complete state, uh, station is the one who well, who is well aware of his deficiencies. And he also knows how to destroy his shahwa, his desires. And he strives to that which benefits him. Ibn Abdul Bar also brought in that same chapter, he said, وَرَوَى Yunus ibn Abdul A'la that Yunus ibn Abdul A'la said, سمعت ibn Wahb. I heard ibn Wahb say, سمعت Malik ibn Anas. I heard Imam Malik say, ما في زماننا شيء أقل من الإنصاف. Imam Malik said, there is not in this time that we live, this era and this time that we live, Imam Malik said, there is nothing more less than insaf, justice, in knowledge. It is the least thing 
that is present out there, al-insaf, to be just, to be fair. Ma fi zamanina, there is nothing at our time here less than al-insaf. And this is who? Imam Malik, rahimahullah, who was born in the time of what? Qurun al-Mufaddala. Khayr al-Qurun, the best of generations, the best in times. What about if Imam Malik, rahimahullah, he lived at this era and he saw what was taking place? Ibn Abdul Bar, after that, he brought from his chain of narration to Malik ibn Anas in a story. That Imam Malik ibn Anas, Imam Udar al-Hijra, Imam Malik, rahimahullah, um, Abu Ja'far ibn al-Mansur, Abu Ja'far al-Mansur, Abu Ja'far al-Mansur, the Khalifa, the leader of the Muslims, he called Imam Malik, rahimahullah. And Imam Malik said, I entered onto him. And when I entered onto him, he, told, he said to me, he said to Imam Malik, rahimahullah, um, I have made a decision. Inni qad azamt. I have made a decision. For me to take your book, يعني الموطة, your book موطة, and to do what? فَيُنْسَخَ نُسْخًا فَيُنْسَخُ نُسْخًا That copies are made of it. A lot of copies are made from this book. And then what? It is then sent to the, the Khilafah where it rules all of it, all around the Muslim world, that is going to be sent to it. And that every single person is going to be ordered to adhere to what is in the Muwatta. The hadith that you brought out in the fiqh, this is, going, this is what's going to be implemented. And that the people have to leave off everything other than that which they have. Everything else, get rid of it. Why? فَإِنِّي رَأَيْتُ Abu Ja'far said, I have seen أَصْلُ الْعِلْمِ The fundamental matters of the religion is what? رِوَايَةُ أَهْلِ الْأَهْلِ الْمَدِينَ It is the narration of the people of Medina. And the knowledge of the people of Medina. When Abi Ja'far al-Mansur finished what he said, Imam Malik said to him, Ya Amir al Mu'minin, O the leaders of the believer, La taf'al, don't do that. فَإِنَّ النَّاسَ قَدْ سَبَقَتْ إِلَيْهِمْ أَقَاوِيلُ The people, narrations have reached them. Or views, speeches have already reached them. وَسَمِعُوا أَحَادِيثَ And they have heard narrations. وَرَوَوْ رِوَايَاتٍ And they have narrated narrations. The people... They've already got views that are there for them. They've already got other narrations and other books. They've also, uh, uh, they also, they themselves are narrating other hadith. And every place they have taken what have already come to them. I Meaning the people are already over on a stance. Because views have already come to them. And they implement those views. And they made that their religion. من اختلاف الناس based on what the views that were different differs the خلافات that occurred between the Sahabas some of them are of the view of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud in Kufa some of them are of the view of Abdullah ibn Umar in Medina some of them so the خلاف is based on the Sahabas من اختلاف الناس أصحاب أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وغيرهم and other than them الله أكبر وإن ردهم عما اعتقدوه شديد and to take them back to that which they have believed in already is going to be very hard. فَدَعِ النَّاسَ Leave the people. وَمَا هُمْ عَلَيْهِ that Leave them upon that which they are on. وَمَخْتَارَ كُلُّ أَهْلِ بَلَدٍ لِأَنفُسِهِمْ And leave every people for that which they have chosen for themselves. And then Abi Ja'far al-Mansur said to Imam Malik لَعَمْرِ لَوْ طَاوَعْتَنِي By well Allah, if you obeyed me, if you obey me on this issue, I would have executed it, I would have ordered it, and every single person would have had to adhere to it. This is the leader saying this. Imagine now, if somebody was told that your view is going to be implemented everywhere, and everyone's going to take what you say. There won't be a thought, a second thought on his mind. He would force every single person to adhere to him. Rather, he would pay every money he has if he knew that everyone would listen to him. Ibn Abdul Bar, as soon as he brought that statement, he said, he said, وَهَذَا غَايَةٌ فِي الْإِنصَافِ لِمَنْ فهم. That is the pinnacle of justice and fairness. But that is for whoever understands. لِمَنْ فهم. Whoever can understand, that's the pinnacle of fairness. 
not forcing your view onto people and that they have to follow it and they have to force it. Or even taking a path which is to force to force a view of one sheikh to everybody and everybody has to adhere to that sheikh and follow that sheikh. Naam. Ibn Abdul Bar also brought in his book Jami' al-Bayan al-Ilmi wa Fadli the statement of um, Khalil ibn Ahmed al-Farahidi who was sheikh al-Sibawihi. Khalil ibn Ahmed al-Farahidi was the sheikh of Imam Sibawihi. Khalil ibn Ahmed al-Farahidi said Ayami arba'atun my days are four. He, he broke his days and divided his days into four. Ayami arba'atun my days are only four. Yawmun a day akhruju a day where I go out. فَأَلْقَى فِيهِ مَنْ هُوَ أَعْلَمُ مِنِّي I meet someone who's knowledgeable, more knowledgeable than me. A day, I go out and I meet in that day somebody who has more knowledge than I have. فَأَتْعَلَّمُ مِنْهُ I sit down and I learn from him. فَذَاكَ يَوْمُ فَائِدَتِي وَغَنِيمَتِي That day is my day of benefits and my day of beauty. غَنِيمَة that day. That day is the day of benefit. I met somebody who's more knowledgeable than me. I'm sitting with him and I'm benefiting from him. That day is a day of fa'ida and it's a day of ghanima. The second day is a day أَخْرُجُ I leave فَأَلْقَى فِيهِ I meet مَنْ أَنَا أَعْلَمُ مِنْهُ Somebody who I'm more knowledgeable than. فَأُعَلِّمُهُ I go and I educate him. I teach him. فَذَاكَ يَوْمُ أَجْرِي That day is my day of reward. I accumulate reward that day. The third day is وَيَوْمٌ أَيْ دَيْ أَخْرُجُ فَأَلْقَى فِيهِ مَنْ هُوَ مِثْلِي It's a day I go out and I meet somebody who's like me. فَأُذَاكِرْهُ I revise with him. فَذَاكَ يَوْمُ دَرْسِي That's my day of lesson, benefits. Meaning a day of dars, revision. I revise with him. That's the third day. The fourth day is وَيَوْمٌ أَيْ دَيْ أَخْرُجُ فِيهِ I go out. فَأَلْقَى I meet مَنْ هُوَ دُونِي Somebody who is below me. وَهُوَ يَرَى But he sees himself and نَهُ فَوْقِي That is above me. فَلَا أُكَلِّمُ That person I don't speak to him. وَأَجْعَلُهُ يَوْمَ رَاحَتِي And I make that day my day of relax. My day which I relax and I uh, uh, enjoy myself. So that, والله is a فائدة. If you, cut, if you divide your day into those four days. It's either a day you meet somebody who's more knowledgeable than you or you're learning from him. Or you meet a day, somebody who you're more knowledgeable than and you know more than he does. And then you sit down and you teach that person and you get reward for it. Or you meet a day, you meet somebody who you're like and you have just about the same knowledge so you revise what you both know. And the last one which is you meet somebody who thinks he knows but he does not know, then don't waste your time on that person. Don't talk to that person. Make it your day where you relax. Don't give yourself headache. And that falls under insaf. To be just with knowledge. So inshallah ta'ala, today's fa'idah, that is what it is. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa tawbilah.